to find the zeros of a function, that just means what, what places in the graph do the function actually go to zero. And to do that, all you do is you take the numerator of the fraction and set it equal to zero. Um, plus 3x plus 2, we set that equal to zero. And we say, okay, whatever values of x make this whole thing go to zero, it's going to drive the function to zero at that point. How do we find this? Well, we can factor it. We factor and solve. We've done this before. That's why we learned that skill already. x times x gives me x squared. 1 times 2 gives me 2. The only thing that works is plus and plus. What values of x actually make this thing go to zero? Well, this one means x plus 1 can be equal to zero. x plus 2 can also be equal to zero. So that means x can be, move this over negative 1. x over here can be equal to negative 2. What does this mean? So that means these guys are the zeros of the function f of x. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.